And I'm back with more Metal Gear Solid 3. And we're getting started, and let's see what I can do here. Lost Cam Desert. Okay. Oh. So this one, I got to worry about alligators. I don't know where they are, though. Yeah, when you when you see the, those bars, you know um, you've made it to the next screen. So that map is going to be pretty important. And then it looks like there's going to be dudes. So no more alligators, thank God. Roger. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy 
is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you <laughs> crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? So the easy gun keeps you at 80%. And 90 if you get in a certain spot. Um, definitely looks like I'm good for a while. The fact that they had to go through all of this in the camo index and show you just how much of a change each thing does, like, somebody had to have that, like, one or two people had to have that as their tests, as their jobs. There's no way in hell. Because there's so many different environments, so many different little things. Um... Go up the tree, I don't feel like it. I'm wondering if there's just two ways to do the map. Yeah, that's a rock. It's a rock! Photography map makes it hard to kind of gauge where I'm going. That's the one drawback I have with this game as opposed to 1 and 2. I think I saw her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little scary, wasn't it? I almost screwed up. <laughs> All right, the bridge, huh? Should be a couple of dudes on here. It's just so much more expression on their faces, even compared to the second game. Um...
Well, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Rope bridges. Forget if these are good friends or not. Uh, calorie mate, Siberian ink. I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the ink cap family. Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap? That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Why is that? Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down alcohol, causing a buildup of acetaldehyde. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. Oh. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. Well, I'm knocking a shot back now. What? Just teasing you. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> I like her. <laughs> um please stay sober. I'm 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 an advocate for nobody drinking and whatnot and Rasmit. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of dudes in here, and it's kind of an orangey urban environment kind of thing, so you gonna have to be careful. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target.
that's wrong. Where's the door? I must have to climb over a... I have to climb over a fence then. Vulcan's men. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you, sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And, on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. 
By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. <laughs> you said it. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do. They spotted me. Great job, Snake. Stealth mission. So this is the legendary boss. Uh oh. Oh, crap. The Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? <laughs> He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Ugh. So even in his younger days, he was a flashy, arrogant bastard. Now get out of here. Of course he was. Never lets his prey escape. What? Uh oh. <gasps> ah fuck! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I would say thanks, but nah. <laughs> this is also what we're talking about. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover.
Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Major. Leave it. Shoot the other one. Whoa. They're not having a good I they're not having a good day at it. First place, you tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! I'm kicking your ass and teaching you a lesson and all sorts of fun stuff. Enjoy. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Also, yeah, if you shoot him, you cause a paradox and the game is over. So don't. Just don't. More importantly, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. <laughs> Saving the game, Snake? <laughs> yes, please. All right. Pretty good, huh? All right. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. Ew. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but 
It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Meanie. Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. Ugh. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point. <laughs> be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Yes. Okay. There are alligator alligators and crocodiles and other shit. Girls going for a swim either. Bah, what the fuck? Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> this could rival the Mei Ling Solid Snake <laughs> flirting, I guess. But maybe we'll get to more of that next time.